Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. We are back. Again. And it's time for a new challenge. Our last challenge with the undrafted only team didn't work out exactly as planned. But maybe, just maybe, possibly, potentially, this challenge will work out for us instead. We are going to take over the Buffalo Sabres, and damn it, one way or another, we are going to turn them into one hell of a team. Might we be worse? Maybe. But give it time and find out. Now, this will be a rules-heavy series. Maybe not as drastic as the Carolina Hurricanes challenge was in previous years. But we're looking at something along the lines of that particular series. And if you don't remember that series, go watch it right now. Right now. Unfortunately, the big elephant in the room here is that, uh, yeah, I don't have my custom roster. I will not say that objectively the rosters are trash because I don't think that's fair for me to say. But, of course, I do hate EA's rosters with a passion. The problem is... It was not worth it for me to re-roster it while waiting for the update. Because obviously we still can't move draft picks on our own. Thanks EA. And uh, yeah. Obviously there's no time and I'm not going to wait it out. But I am excited for this particular challenge. And I will be revealing these limitations. These restrictions. As we go along. As we go along. So let's get this bad boy set up. Fanboy! The man was a fanboy! As Davos hits us up with 20 months, it took us 20 months to make that potato salad. Thank you, Davos. How are you? It is good to see you. Now, Fog of War is going to be off, but I will say there will be an element of Fog of War in this series. I think you might know what I'm talking about. Uh, and Computer Trades will be off for the first season to try and help keep the rosters to where they are in this beautiful post-trade deadline world of ours. And that way we see how the rosters happen to play out with those adjustments made. Aside from that, there is nothing else to do on that particular screen for the moment. Yes, boys. It... Player of the week, thank you for those lovely three months. I've been happy to have you here. Void, would I turn them off if I could not turn them back on? Some people won't get the sarcasm, but you silly Aussie, stop asking dumb questions. And trust me. Damn it. Z-Pops, what's up? AJ, again, you will find out those restrictions very, very soon. I mean, Ivory, they might be right. So, in terms of the settings here, then, to kick things off, like I mentioned, we got a we got a couple a couple of adjustments to make, right? We got a couple couple of adjustments to make. We're gonna put it we're gonna put it on full sim because I hate myself. It probably won't have that much of an effect. It's fine. Injuries are gonna be off for now, at least because I feel like people just can't stand it anyway. And let's be honest, the fun really begins in the first off season. Goodness of the biscuit. As Snipe and Sally hits us up with that lovely extended subscription. Thank you for that, Snipe. I do appreciate it. Aside from that, offsides are good, penalties are good, the trapezoid rule good, period length doesn't mean anything. Put on an all-star in case we end up watching, which let's be honest, we're not gonna watch this team in action anytime soon. Auto scouting will be on. Oh baby. Won't it be on? Uh, I'm going to leave sim engine scoring and all that on medium to kick things off because, meh, we'll adjust it from there. Trade difficulty will be on hard. It might not matter, though. It might not. Let's, uh, let's wait it out. And of course, morale meetings will be off because they are a drastic, drastic waste of time. So, like I said, Fog of War is going to be off, but in a way... Fog of War is going to matter in this challenge. You know why? Because we will be starting off with no scouts 
because we are the Buffalo Sabres, we do not have a scouting department. So that is our first factor here, is that we are going to have to earn our scouts because we are the Buffalo Sabres and we do not have a scouting department. So what we're gonna do here, and I will admit I am willing uh, to take suggestions. As Atomic hits us up with the lovely, lovely tan Atomic. Thank you for that. I hope, I hope, I will enjoy Taylor Hall by the way, but I hope, I hope I can do you some justice here. So we are gonna have to earn these scouts. It's something we've done before, it's something that we're gonna do again. I'm thinking what it's gonna be is at the start of every season, one Terry Pagula is going to randomly assign us a number of wins that we have to hit. If we hit those wins, then cool, we get ourselves three scouts, and I'm gonna go with three because technically it would take us seven seasons. We'd have to hit the goal seven straight seasons to get a maximum scouting department. So yeah, I think that's the way that we're gonna earn it. We will get a randomly wheel spun decided amount of wins that we have to hit. If we do, we earn ourselves three scouts. They can be the highest rated scouts possible. That's fine. Coaching wise, will there be any limitations? I don't know. I don't know, because a lot of people do have the issue of, oh, you just go with the best coaching staff all the time. But I'm telling you, coaching staff, like you can have a team, and maybe we'll make this video one day, but you can have a team of all 90 pluses. And if you have horrible scouts, are they gonna play like 90 pluses? No, no, they're not. So there's that. So we'll figure it out. We're not changing the coaching staff to start off. It's pretty shit to begin with. But yeah, no scouting department is our uh, is our first step. It's our first step because this draft, oh boy, this draft is going to be fun. Now, 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 I've already seen people in chat mention trade Jack Eichel. Well, it's funny that you mentioned Jack Eichel because first and foremost about Jack Eichel, he will be sitting out the entire first season. Yes, morale is on. But to replicate the fact that Jack Eichel's out for the year, he will not play a single game in season one. So this is going to be fun. And secondly, even if we wanted to trade Jack Eichel, I am only allowed to trade using the trade finder. I will not. Premium bagel. Dropping the 22. Why me? Why me? I am only allowed to trade using the trade finder. Bagel, thank you for that, by the way. Uh, to limit myself, because let's be honest, trading in this game is way too easy to begin with, and nobody has any respect for Kevin Adams. So for now, I'm only going to be allowed to accept trades that are sent to me, as opposed to trying to find them myself. So those are a couple. A couple of the early rules that are limiting us in this series, yes, it's going to suck. Now, you might also be thinking this. Toogie just signed Dustin Bufflin right now. First and foremost, while we are using EA's most recent update, with the trade deadline moves, uh, I took off the highest rated free agent, so there is no Dustin Bufflin. But aside from that, even if I wanted to sign somebody, as Toronto automatically cuts Jason Spezza now. Good job, EA. Good job! Uh, yeah. Even if I wanted to sign somebody, we get to spin the wheel. 50-50 shot for free agent, guys. Say I wanted to sign Jason Spezza. What do we do? We turn to the wheel. It says yes or no. And Jason Spezza could immediately say, fuck you, I'm not coming here. So that's also a factor when it comes to free agents. We won't be signing anybody. I am very tempted uh, to sign one Andy Green and Jason Spezza and send them back to where they're supposed to go, but there would be obvious cap issues. So yeah, Jason Spezza's there. There's not much I can do about it. Good job, EA. Oh, they also cut Michael Hutchinson. Boy, we didn't think through some of this, did we, EA? Could have double-checked that. Could have told you to, but hey, it's fine. I will continue to make the best of the shit situation you put me in as a content creator sometimes. It's fine. Baseball's out soon. It's fine. See, I think that pretty much covers 
all of our early moves. I think it does. Emmy, I'm, I'm so sorry if I'm a little bit too hyped up. I'm so sorry. O-A-J are we? You just, you just go ahead and wait for that little tidbit. You just go ahead and wait. So what we're gonna do is set up this team for our first season. Hello, Deke Slayer, how are you? It's a great game and Gray Fox dropping the bits. Congrats on their first COVID shot. Uh, there are some uh, side effects people could have, but hey, it's better than having COVID. So goaltending wise, uh, we're good. The fan boy. The a man seven. was a fan boy. <laughs> uh, Eichel, thank you for the thank you for the resub. Imagine Dustin Tokarski being a seventy-eight. Holy hell! Anyway, how good's Michael Hauser? He's not. Yeah, he's like twenty-eight. Uh, we need Lukanen to be the starter. So congrats to Tokarski. You're going to get called up. On the defensive side of things, that's our top six. Boy, isn't that our top six? Well, we have no injuries, so that's fine. And for the forwards, again, we have some things to do, but we have 10, 11, 12. Hey, hey, I, I know you. Oh, you. Notre Dame's finest. We are going to send down Rasmus Osplin. We are going to send down Tage Thompson because Kevin Miller ended his career. It just seems fair to let him play in the AHL and let him get his confidence back. And then what we're going to do, as mentioned, Jack Eichel will be sitting out the year. Oh, God. <laughs> Jack Eichel will be sitting out the year. Uh, we will try to set this team up as best as we can. Uh, IRL, too. I know Jake... You know what? We might sit out Jake McCabe, too, because he's, he's out. He's out as well. Maybe... Uh, yeah. You know what? For shits and gigs. Let's go ahead and sit out Jake McCabe, too, because he didn't play all of this year. Uh, and we'll call up Brandon Davidson instead. So Taste that will be biscuit. nice. Jay Huds, 24. Dropping that prime sub. Thank you for that. Oh, Jack Eichel's not playing in Rochester. Mm -mm -mm. No. No, no, no. Jack Eichel is not playing in Rochester. What about all Mark Davos? What about him? Maybe, just maybe... One Linus Allmark, Linus Allmark, Linus Allmark doesn't want to stay here. Allmark's out too. Yeah, I think we'll keep Allmark at least. We'll keep Allmark at least. Why? Because he's not tied down next season. You know, he's not tied down. We could we could sick Ergensons too if you really wanted me to. Screw it. Let's go for it. Allmark, I plan on keeping in. We'll uh, we'll scratch them because Ergensons too. Why not? He's one of our best options. <laughs> Yep. Polly Heyman. Polly Heyman. Thank you for that resub as well on the four months. Is Tony D on the uh, Rangers? He is. He is. He is. I didn't remove him. Uh, but I also won't be signing him. If I do, I'll just keep him in the AHL for the rest of his career. Because I'm that kind of petty. Because I'm that oh, kind good of for you. petty. Lieutenant 26. Thank you. For the follow. God, is it even worth trying to optimize this chemistry? I don't think it is. Noofy, what's going on, buddy? It is good to see you. That'll be our defense for this season. Again, injuries are off, so that's looking... Mm, that's that's good. Imagine Ristolainen still being an 86. Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. And uh, this, this will be our forward core. <laughs> To answer the question of, am I regretting this challenge yet? No. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. Thank you very much for asking. Jesus. I mean, we could get a little bit more chemistry out of this, but what the hell is the point? The beginning of this season is Operation Wow, Jeff Skinner's the best face-off guy on this team. Uh, it's Operation Get Jeff Skinner to Not Be Terrible Anymore. That's first and foremost. And on that second line, we're going to go Cousins at center. Third line, we'll have one Kyle Pozo at center. That sounds like a horrible idea. And actually, we do have some better, some better face-off options here. Let's actually go with one Cody Eakin on the third line. Because why not? Because why not? So that will be the forward cord. Number one center, Jeff Skinner. Who says no? That is the team this year. Big yikes. 
big, big, big yikes. I am excited for this, though. And again, uh, because I hate myself, uh, we'll be calling up Jack Eichel. He'll be a healthy scratch, as will uh, one Jake McCabe. They're just going to sit there. They're just going to sit there. Uh, and honestly, I think we'll do it to Gergensen's, too. He's just going to sit there. And we can send Dustin Tokarski down to make that work. So our team is set. The AHL is set, except Tokarski. Who the hell is this guy? Stefanos. Stefanos. Uh, we need to swap him out, though. Lukanen needs to be the starter. Defensively. Oh, sweet, merciful God. Do we have anybody here that we actually have to worry about? Uh, Miss Kukunen is one of them, I do suppose. And, yeah, okay. We actually do have some players that we have to worry about here. Cool. Let's get uh, good old Kukunen in here. And uh, who wants to take a seat? None of you, because you're all half decent. Okay, cool. Well, that's that setup. And for the forwards, hey, look, it's Jack Quinn. At least Jack Quinn gets to play. Uh, Mr. S wow, did they... <sighs> did they just completely job out R2 Rotsalainen? That's... That's just cruel. That is just cruel. Like, the, the rating is just brutal. Like, he was a really good player in the SHL. I don't understand that. Uh, Dominic, don't call me Phil DeFranco... Mache Picard needs to get into this lineup. I will give you the full list of restrictions when you deserve the full list of restrictions. Sh sit down, shut up, enjoy the misery. Or don't, in which case, good day, sir. And or madam. Get put in the place. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, really quickly. Good old Michael Mersch. Oh, Michael Mersh, are you going to play? You are. You're going to be on the fourth line, I guess. Do we have anybody else that we can take out? We do still need to kind of sort of optimize our younger players. And so we will. So all of these dudes are at least going to have a kind of sort of half decent potential, except for Mr. Murray and Mr. Ogilvy. Oh, God. Oh, nope, don't. Yep, okay, that works. Cool. Shout out to Jack Quinn being on the top line. Shout out to Jack Quinn being on the top line. This team is going to suck. Neely, you will find out the MLB plan very soon. Don't know if you've noticed, it's kind of a trend. I let people know things when they have to know them. So, again, no Jake McCabe, Zemgis Gergensons, or Jack Eichel for this season. They will be scratched. How badly is that going to screw us over? Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> you'll find out. And of course, a friendly reminder. Of course, I'm rocking the Jack Eichel jersey right now, baby. Why wouldn't I be? And of course, for those who missed it, uh, we do not have a scouting department. We are going to have to earn said scouting department. So that's going to be fun. This whole thing is going to be fun. So what we're going to do, like I said, we are going to have a nice little setup here to determine, to determine, to determine, to determine whether or not we are going to be able to earn a scout this year. The lowest amount of wins to earn a scout is going to be 20 and the max is going to be 50. Wherever this lands, we have to win that many games. If we do not win that many games, we do not get any new scouts. Sound fun? It shouldn't. It's gonna suck. Let's get down to business. Let's spin this gosh darn dang wheel. How many wins does this Sabres team need? 30. So, uh, that scouting department's not getting any better. That scouting department's probably not getting any better. Let's see how the preseason goes, shall we? Shall we? Again, friendly reminder, AI trades are off so that they can try to keep their rosters together in the aftermath of the NHL trade deadline because, of course, this roster update just came out tonight or today. God, look at these beautiful values. Look at these beautiful... Look at that beautiful pick from Boston. 
That's Taylor Hall right there. <laughs> You'll love to see it. That's Taylor Hall right there. All right. Let's uh, let's let's get this show on the road, shall we? Shall we begin the sim of our first season at the helm of the Buffalo Sabres? We will sim the first two months and see how this goes down. And I swear to God, if we actually win 30 games with this trash bag of a team, then EA, I'm going to have EA. I'm going to have a lot of questions for you. So the AI are still allowed to send me offers, uh, but obviously we're just going to go ahead and decline it. I need to turn those off. Uh, but they can't send each other offers. Please, God, can we regret... How are we winning? How? I can't even meme in this game anymore. It's so broken, I can't meme. We're 15, 5, and 2 without Jack Eichel. I'm not even allowed to meme. Look at this. Zero games. 15, 5, and 2. I'm not even allowed to meme this year. Fuck. <laughs> Are we getting scouting? We're halfway there. Fucking living on a prayer. Bon Jovi. Holy hell. We are halfway to getting three new scouts. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, well, let's let's finish let's finish simming November. Okay, now we're losing. We beat San Jose, but that's easy. Okay, we lost. We lost. All right. We're we're 16-9 and 2 as of December 1st. We are third in the division. 12 points clear of the Bruins, 14 points up on the Habs, who have two games in hand. All right. All right. From Scott Boobs. I like boobs. Who doesn't, Scott? Who doesn't? 24 points in 27 games. We need to look at this. We need to, we need to look at this. Victor Olofsson. Jeff Skinner has nine points. Well, that's realistic, at least. Six goals, though. Uh, Sam Reinhardt on 23 points. Sure. Anders Bjork on 14. That's incredibly unrealistic. Uh, Dylan Cousins is crushing it. Middle stat with 18 points. <laughs> hey, Deke Slayer. Deke Slayer. Hey, Deke Slayer. How does that make you feel? <laughs> oh, Lord. Cody Eakin with a solid 11 points. Uh, even Toby Reader's putting up points. <laughs> Steven Fogarty with 5 Eight for Riley Sheehan, six points for Okpozo. All three goals were against the Boston Bruins, by the way, because that's what happens. Uh, Darlene with 13 points. Risto with even more. Freaking Colin Miller has 13 points. L how? How? Allmark must just be going on a... through five games, but Carter Hutton's on a heater. And Allmark has a 906. You'll love to see it. Shout out to old Jekaikel. You have to play a game. <laughs> Let's keep it going. This has turned into an even bigger meme faster than I ever could have anticipated. Oh my god. We keep winning. Again, we'll reject all trades. I don't want to turn that off. Oh, good Stop for you. sending me deals. Taboo is what I'm going to go with. Thank you for the follow. 24. We are six wins away from getting our, our win accomplishment done. Six. We're g we might actually make the playoffs in season one without Jack Eichel. We actually might. My god, hockey player, you will know the restrictions when they are relevant to what's going on. For now, just sit back and enjoy the ride. All text, I mean, I again, it's out of pure laziness. I'm not turning it off. I know how to turn it off. It's just pure laziness. We're going to hit 30 wins. We are going to hit 30 wins and be able to bring in three scouts for next season to bring our total number of scouts to three. 28 wins as of February 1st. We're at 28, 18, and 4. <laughs> oh, my God. So, clearly, all Buffalo has to do is get rid of Jack Eichel now, and everything's great. That's all they have to do. They should be on fire IRL now. 
This is absurd. And obviously, too, we didn't change around the divisions. We didn't do anything expansion-wise with Seattle. It's like, eh, let's keep it simple. God, what, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell, man? How does this always happen? How? All right, Hutton's down to an 890. That's good. Uh, Allmark has a 909. Yet still, somehow, this team is doing as well as they are. I just, I just don't, I just don't understand it. And yeah, the Bruins are dead last in the division right now, which is great. I mean, in fairness, to play Jake DeBrusque on the fourth line, probably not the best strategy. All right, I don't even want to look at, like, Mike Riley's rating, because Jesus. All right. Let's keep going. Obviously, with the real trade deadline, nothing can happen. We have AI trades turned off until the off season. There's no way we can lose out here, is there? Oh, baby, here comes the losing streak. Well, we beat New Jersey and we beat Florida. There we go. So, uh, to the Pagoulas, we have, uh, we have, we have accomplished your task. We have won 30 games in a season. As a result... We're actually going to be able to have a bit of a scouting department this uh, upcoming year, which will be nice. We only have to go through one draft without them. Very, very nice indeed. 32, 32, and 6. What are, what are our play- And we are dead last in the division. Life comes at you fast, folks. All right. There we go. Uh, everything regresses to the mean eventually. Cool. And the Bruins are up in the fourth. <laughs> it's like the game just decided to completely screw with us for the vast majority of the season. And then everything sorts itself out. So I trash talk EA and then they're just like, Oh, well, hey, how about this now? Shut your face. That's that's where we're, that's where we're at. So computer trades can be back on now. So we do not forget. And we will see what happens now. Through the rest of the season, we have 10 games left. We just got pooped on by Toronto. This is this is good. Where are we in terms of the league standings? The Devils are apparently significantly worse. All right. I mean, we're in the bottom six. Apparently, Columbus, Arizona, LA, Calgary, and New Jersey are worse than we are. It'll be a lottery pick. It'll be a lottery pick, which is what we were hoping for. I would have cried and probably quit had we made the playoffs in Season 1. I still can't believe we won 34 games. 35, we're going on a heater to screw ourselves out of a out of a spot. Yep, this is... this is. Yeah, let's just go ahead and screw ourselves out of a good play... Or out of a good, uh, you know, lottery spot here, boys. That's, that's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. As long as we lose this game, Detroit finishes above us, and indeed, we take the uh, dead last spot in the Atlantic Division. How lovely. How lovely. Well, that was a roller coaster. We win 36 games in our, uh, in our first season. Toronto takes the Atlantic ahead of Tampa and Florida. Boston missed the playoffs. The Taylor Hall curse is real. The Metro, it's the the overrated as shit in this game. New York Rangers, because why would we not overrate players immediately, right? Why would we not? It's just York and being an 86 is hilarious. Uh, Carolina, Washington, Philly, and Pittsburgh all make the playoffs. The New York Islanders are terrible because in this game you can't replicate Barry Trotz being as good of a coach as he is. The Central, Minnesota, Colorado, Nashville, and Chicago... Winnipeg always sucks. And in the Pacific, Vancouver, Anaheim, Vegas, Edmonton. Jesus. I mean, sure, why not? Why not? Toronto won the President's Trophy. As you do. Colorado at least had the league's best offense. That's smart. Worst goaltending and defense was Ottawa. Also accurate. All right, so for your Sabres this year, Victor Olofsson was 72 points. You had 64 for Dylan Cousins and Sam Reinhardt. Middle stat with 60. 
Uh, first liner, Jeff Skinner with 27 points, 19 goals. Toby Reeder hit 50. 50. Because on a bad team, somebody has to score. And everybody scored except for Jeff Skinner. <laughs> oh, boy. Defensively, uh, 40 points for Risto, Miller, and Darlene. Everyone else was a bit further back. Yoki Haru Davidson was god-awful as a pairing. For the goaltenders, a 901 for Allmark and an 885 for Carter Hutton. Good old Carter Hutton. It's beautiful. Throughout the league, Patrice Bergeron was the only player to hit 100 points. Okay. <laughs> Goal scoring king was Sagan with 49. I guess uh, Drysaddle tied him there as well. Patrick Hornquist scored as many goals as Alex Ovechkin. You just have to laugh at this game sometimes, guys. You just have to laugh. For the defense, John Carlson was up there as the point leader. And uh, P.K. Subban and Quinn Hughes both scored 16 goals because, uh, yeah, yeah. For the goalies, Freddie Anderson, 44 wins. The shutout leader is Peter Morazic with eight. Look at Carter Hart actually doing all right. Totally unrealistic. Uh, and Devin Dubnik put up a 923 because he's an 83 somehow. Hello, Architect. Hello. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. Uh, in terms of a goal-scoring king, there was nobody for the goaltenders. And the Rookie of the Year is, shocker, Kaprizov. Cousins put up a good fight, though. A very good fight. I'm happy about that. But, yeah. Boy, wouldn't it be nice if he had a picture, though, EA? You know, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be cool if you could do that so it wasn't as if... As if... As if I just added it myself. As if... Anyway, 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 anyway. That is it for the opening season to this challenge. The playoffs, 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 which we almost made. Uh, it's Vancouver, Chicago, Anaheim, Vegas, Minnesota, Edmonton, Colorado, Nashville. And in the east, Toronto, Pittsburgh, Tampa, and Florida. The Rangers, Flyers, Hurricanes, and Caps. Let's see how that plays out. And the AHL team is atrocious with just 22 wins. So no Calder Cup playoffs for us to worry about either. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, the scouting rankings. Boy, I can't wait to look at the scouting when we had no scouts. The Tampa Bay Lightning, back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions. You'll love to see it, at least when you hold a parade this time. People will actually be fucking vaccinated. And against Florida, so maybe not. As Tampa beat Vancouver. <laughs> oh, as Tampa beat Vancouver in six. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Oh, God. For the awards, and again, the rosters stayed the same. Uh, there were no trades. Tampa wins back-to-back. -back. Bergeron won the Art Ross. McKinnon, the Hart. The Norris, the Kale McCarr. Pasternak, the Bing. The Caller, the one Kaprizov. Stamkos won the Con Smythe. Freddie Anderson, the Vezina. Uh, Jack Adams, the Anaheim's coach. Jonathan Taves won a Selkie. McKinnon, the Ted Lindsay. And the Rocket Richard to Leon Dreisaitl. Cody, nope, I was never going to check player development. Not once. Never, ever in any of my series do I ever check the progress reports at the end of a season to see player development. I never do it. I never do it. So you, I understand why you had to ask, because I never do it from somebody who has been following this channel for th three years. Three. Okay, two. But still, two. Over two. Am I a dick for throwing you under the bus this hard? Yes, but come on, man. You're not new. Alex Barabule was the uh, leading point getter in the uh, in the AHL. He was also league MVP. 
Uh, Gregory Hoffman, because he always gets auto signed, scored the most goals, which is great. Pius Suter was the top rookie. Delightful. Matt Tennis Balls, top defenseman. Alex Nedeljkovic, top goaltender. And the MVP of the playoffs was Matisse Kivlenix. So shout out to Matisse. Shout out to Matisse. Let's take a look at the progress reports, which I never do, and see what we're dealing with here. As Rasmus Dahlin's up to an 88, that's delightful. Rasmus versus the Linens in 87, how delightful. Uh, Dylan Cousins now at an 85. Middle stat in 83, which is decent enough. Colin Miller in 82, Yoki Haru in 82. Toby Reader only up to an 80 at this stage. Uh, Kajula rocking an 80 right now. Bit of actual natural development for 30-year-old Cody Eakin. Figure that one out. Uh, Tage Thompson and his punched-off face up to a 78. Rasmus Hosplund up to a 76. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Lukanen up to a 78. I think that's one more season than the minors, barring crazy off-season development. Jacob Bryson improving. Casey F. Scott Fitzgerald. I mean, we got some decent development here. Jack Quinn's a 70. Oscari Loxanen's a 70. We're actually looking okay. We're, 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 doing, we're doing some things. We're doing some stuff. And, of course, we got John, Jason, Jingleheimer, Schmidt on this team. Beautiful. So with that, chat, with that, we move on. We move on. And we go ahead and see how this lottery goes. Again, friendly reminder, we lost. Friendly reminder, uh, we, we do not have a scouting department currently. We are allowed to hire three scouts at the end of this. Oh, boy. Okay. The New Jersey Devils, Winnipeg Jets, and Calgary Flames. Uh, shout out to New Jersey also getting the sixth overall pick thanks to Kyle Palmieri and Travis Ajak. We will pick seventh. Seventh. This... This will be great. Retired players. Hosa, Zetterberg. Oh, Big Z. Big Z. The Big Z. Andy Green also retired. Mark Stahl. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. And no goalies retired because this game is very predictable. Zetterberg and Michael Haley <laughs> become scouts. Well, clearly we're going after them. So, to the draft we go. Let's see how this pans out, shall we? I'm scared to death. Apparently, Jack Eichel's on our trade block. That's not true, and I don't appreciate those rumors. <laughs> it's very, very, very rude. Holy shit, his morale is at a very realistic level. <laughs> They're at a, it's at a very realistic level. I will be honest. Whew. Okay, really quickly. For shits and gigs, what are the op- 